Alrighty guys, I think we're live. <coughs> Sounds like I'm dying, doesn't it? Jesus. Holy moly. Alright, so we're back. It is another day. It's two days in a row. Check it out. It looks a bit foggy. Maybe hang on, let me clean that lens. How's that looking a bit better? A wee bit better, as old JP would say. I think we've still got a bit of a glare on there. How are we people? Let's um, get the chat happening. Let it uh, tick the box. Alright, we're in Samuel. Yeah, how's happening? Adam Corey, what's up, Jimmy? Gabe's, what's up? Lawsome stash from the Charles Brown. Yeah, running the stash for a while. I love the stash. Gotta love the stash for a while. What kind of clickbait is this, Justin says. Wait till you hear the story. I got a bit of a story, but before we get to the story, I'll let a few people get get involved, get in uh, catch up and get on. But today I thought I'd have a little shoot of the the Evolve 35 2016 model. You can tell by the 2016 model by the roller guard. So normally you can tell the um, Stephen Rosberg happening buddy so normally you can tell the um, year model of the evolves by the um, cable guard normally they change the cable guard up every year so I'm pretty sure this is a 2016 model due to the cable slide and I can't put a new one on because they changed the whole I can put the 2017 model on but I can't put the 2018 model on or the 2019 evoke man I wouldn't mind one of those evokes wouldn't they be nice with the title, who did you shoot with your bow? You think that? You think it's got to do with that, do you? Holy moly, what a day yesterday was. It's insane. It was insane. All right, let me have a shot of this Evolve. Because I haven't had a shot in God knows how long of this bow. I don't know if I'll be even able to pull it back still. It's going to be the thing. She's a heavy bow, so let's have a shot and then uh, once everyone gets in, I'll fill you in on this story because she's a story. So make sure you check out Archery Supplies in South Australia, archeryshop.com.au. Uh, Justin Vrea, uh, Jimmy, a bow I'm getting was well, finally landed. Oh, that's exciting, Justin. That is very exciting. Huntersville, outdoors, how are you? Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to fill up a little bit, then I'll start the story. Two shots and then I'll get into the story for you. So let me have a shot of this one because I haven't shot the Evolve in ages. It's been so long. Mosquitoes are coming back out. We got a big bloody old dead huntsman on the fence. It's all happening. Sinister, how are we? Yeah. All right, let's have a shot. Let's get into it, then I'll tell you the story. F on your end, we're getting a fail on your end. Well, I think it might be you, buddy. Anyone else getting a fail? All right, let's go. Let's have a shot. I just want to have a shot. Stinging for a shot. Stinging for a shot. Don't blow up on me. Oh. I just realised I hadn't checked the sight settings. Spider webs everywhere because I haven't been out here for so long. There's spider webs everywhere. Oh, there we go. Should be good to go. What happened with the cops? It's to everybody. Don't punch myself in the face. That's right. All right, let me have a shot, then I'll fill you in with the cops. What happened with the old um, yesterday's story? Just so I just want one shot at least. Just one shot will do me. Oh. This bow is so damn quick, so damn quick, it's crazy. One more shot and then we'll um do all do you hunt at all. I'm stinging to get hunt. I'm hunt I'm I'm actually in the process of trying to organise hunt, so that's coming up. That'll be something happening soon. I'm trying to get it to happen, don't you worry, I'm trying to get it to happen. 
If not, I think I'm going rabbit hunting. At least I'll be doing some rabbit hunting or something. The stash is killing you. <laughs> Tell you what, every time I see it too, it makes me laugh. Uh, Paul, how are ya? So yeah, I'm keen to get into some hunting. At least to start with some rabbits. So I might start with some rabbits. Last shot, we'll have one more shot, and then I'll tell you this story. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. One more, it's such an aggressive bow, it's so, so unforgiving, it's insane. It is such an aggressive bow. So we got a super chat. God, I love you guys with the donations. God damn it. God, I love you. It's absolutely killers. Oh my God. Huntersville Outdoors. I gotta love you, bro. Yeah. All right, so let's get into this story. So after I seen this yesterday, what happened? I finished the video. It was up and down a little bit with the whole thing. So I thought I'd go for a walk, clear me head, have a little walk. So I went for a walk, had a walk, that was all good. Come back and I'm starving after me walk. Absolutely dying, so I'm like, have a guess. Let's guess what I'll get to get, what I was, um... What's Paul been saying? I miss what Paul said. You got a clickbait? Here we go, okay, here's the story now. So, here's the story. So I'm going, so I've gone, walk, I've gone walk about. Cleared me head, come back, no worries, big all good but I'm starving so I'm like well that's it let's go get some sushi if you just didn't guess that you, just, you should have known me because I love me sushi so I'm like all right no worries so I jump in the car I pull out my driveway and I thought oh I may as well order the sushi so I don't have to wait when I get there so I'll ring up the sushi I'll get it so I just rock up and get it rather than sitting around the store for half an hour while they're cooking it up for me wrap rolling it up for me so I pulled over on the side of the road and I uh, called up the sushi people. Well, while I was talking to the sushi people, the co cops have come past like this. But they like as, the, as I'm sitting on the phone, like, oh, like they've slowed right down it and started doing these ones at me. And I'm like, it's a bit strange. I'm, I'm doing the right thing. I've pulled over to use the phone here. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not talking on the phone. I wasn't talking on the phone, so I don't know why they're um, staring at me so bad. So what they've done? I'm on the side of the road. They've driven past me this way, they've gone around the corner, chucked a Yui, and then just parked here while I was parked here like this, and I've gone, oh, they want me, they're after me, I could tell straight away that I was like, oh no, but when they pulled over here, when I was facing on this road, and they pulled over on this road, like on the intersection, on the change of roads, I thought, oh, maybe they're going to one of the houses there, and they just had a little gook at me, a little, little squeeze and a gander at me. So I've got alright, no worries, no big deal. So I've ordered me sushi, put the phone down, started taking off. Soon as I've taken off, guess who started following me? The fucking 5 -0. -oh. So then the mozzies are getting real bad. I'm gonna have to get the old um, thermosel back out. So um, as soon as I take off, they're where I'm like this, they're like that. As soon as I take off, they take off too. It's like instant. So as soon as I take off, I know. I know that they're after me. So I'm like, far out. Here we go. Why do they want to get me for? I was doing the right thing. I pulled over on the phone. I pulled over to talk on the phone. But I'm like, okay, no worries. Let's go. They probably just want to breath test me. Whatever. So then um, I'm driving along. And they follow me, I go out in the main road, I'm driving along, I'm just waiting for the sirens, I'm waiting for the wheel, 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 just to give me the flash to pull over, we're driving, still no thing, but they're tailing me like no one's business. So I'm getting further and further and I get all the way to the next suburb, so they follow me for probably five minutes, at least five minutes. So now I'm getting a bit sus, I'm like, why are they following me but not pulling me over? Ah, Sinister's back, eww! 
You good, uh, good stuff. Good to have you back, sister. So I'm, I'm going. Why are they following me? They say potheads are paranoid. So I'm going. Well, why am I? Pa well, <laughs> so why am I um, getting followed? Why are they following me, but not pulling me over? So I thought. Well, maybe they're going the same place as me. Maybe it's just coincidental. Maybe it's just coincidental. So I'm like, okay, no worries, don't even worry about it. So we get to the round, get to this roundabout, and they're right up my ass, and I get a, I get a chance to go in the roundabout, the donut shop. That's it. They're following me to the donut shop. So we get to a roundabout. They're right behind me, and I get a chance to go, but it's only like a one car chance. You know what I mean? So as soon as I come, this um, cars from comes from the roundabout here. So I only had like a one car gap to get around the roundabout. So I've taken the one car gap around the roundabout and the cops just come straight out behind me, nearly causing an accident to stop the other people to follow me. And soon as they've done that, I've gone, they're after me. What have I done? Why are they after me so bad? Like, what's going on here? This is pretty crazy because so I definitely know they're after me now. But I'm even more confused because I know they're after me, but they're not pulling me over. I'm like, well, why aren't they pulling me over? So that was confusing me even more. So we're driving along even further. We get further down the road, probably about another five minutes. So they would following me for 10 minutes. It's getting cold over there, is it, Dougie? Ah, it's starting to warm up here. Slowly, slowly warming up. It's still pretty cool. So yeah, I'm getting followed. I don't know why they're following me, but I know they're following me. I'm like, this is crazy. I'm going to, they're going to pull me over sooner or later. So then, um, Eventually, after about 10 minutes of them following me, meow, 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 flashing lights and everything on you, I just pulled straight over. I just was waiting for it. So, um, so um, I pull over. I'm like, all right, no worries. Get the car. Get the thing out. The cops walk up, and I go to hand him the hand him the license because I had the, I knew that I was ready you know what I mean I had I've seen it coming so I thought I'll get the license out I'll get everything ready I'll have it so they can just go bang you don't have to ask me for a license I know you need to see it rah, rah, rah. so I pull the license out I go to give him the license and he won't take it and I'm like what's going on here and he's like well what have you been doing today and I said what do you mean he goes well what have you been up to today and I said, I've just been gone for a walk. I said, um, the old man's car that I ever get a bit sad every now and again. So I just went for a walk. Now I'm hungry. So I'm going to get something to eat. He's like, you sure? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I go, that's what I, when you seen me on the phone, that's who I was talking. I was calling up the sushi. He's like, well, I think you've got guns in the car. And I went, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you saying? <laughs> I was like, what? He goes, I think you're high as a kite, I think you're stoned as a motherfucker, and I think you've got guns in the car. And I go, well, my eyes are probably red because I've been crying because I've just been out walking. And um, I don't know what you're talking about, guns. So they're like, well, we'll see, because where we, the area that we've seen you in has a high gun percentage at the moment, and there's a lot of guns going on. So I'm like, my area, my area is cruisy as, like cruisy as. It's all old grannies and um, like over the hill, there's a housing commission and that's pretty heavy. But that's you know, it's like over a hill to me, it's nowhere near me. So I'm like, the gun's near my place? And he's like, yeah, like there is heaps of guns. I'm like, all right, no, well, that's pretty crazy. So they're like, would you um, be adverse or not adverse would you care if they search it but they didn't say would you care they you know they say what they got to say but they're like do you mind if we search the car and i looked at him and i was like are you serious you really think i've got guns in the car he's like well your car's full of targets and i go is that why you think i've got guns because of the targets he's like no no but your car's full of targets and i was like so you could have been shooting a gun. You could have been aiming at a gun. Are you sure you're not using these targets for a gun? And I go, no, no, I'm just an archer. I do archery. They're like, where you do archery? Where you do archery? I go, oh, up at Wyong with, um, with the Moon Terror. They're like, all oh, right, 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 right. Like, still, like, not really knowing. <laughs> like, still not believing me. I'm like, <laughs> they're like, guys, like, I'm, I'm easy. 
That's it. I knew I, I knew I had the right to deny I'm the search center, so don't you worry. I knew that I could say no, you're not searching the car, but I had nothing to hide. I didn't really care, you know what I mean? So I said to him, listen guys, you can search as much as you want, you can do whatever you want, and I've got nothing to hide. Like I'm totally cool with that. At this point in time, I'm still in the car. I'm still in the car and they're both both in there like this, two of them going. And they're going, well, why is your eyes red? And I go, it's because I've been crying. And they go, oh, all right, all right, yeah, whatever, sure, sure, sure. I'm like, all right, no worries. So I told them the story, and they're like, oh, well, that sucks, blah, 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 blah. They're pretty nice cops, actually. So they're like, we're going to have to search. Seeing you've given us, you seeing you said it's okay. Well, it didn't happen. The young guy was talking to me, and then the old guy was on the other side of the car, like, just doing these ones trying to look through the windows you know what I mean and I said to him listen if you just want to search you're more than welcome to search like I am happy for you to search to pull the car to bits and at the I was I needed a distraction anyway you know what I mean so I wasn't going to argue with her I wasn't going to fight it was something to take me day up you know what I mean so they go all right out of the car sir out of the car we're gonna have to get you to stand over on the side here so they pulled me out of the car I'm over on the side of the road Ah, shooting peanuts, greeting from Germany. Yeah, hi, Alex. So, yeah, so they finally pull me out of the car after all this talking, and they go, okay, we're going to search the car now. Because the they didn't say they're going to search the car. They just say, we're going to have to get you out of the car, James. We're going to have to get you over out here for your own safety. I said, no worries, guys. I'm happy to comply with whatever you want me to do. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I've got nothing to hide. So then they pull out the breath test and they breath test me and say, you've been drinking. I'm like, nah, no, nah, I haven't been drinking. They're like, all right, no worries, that's good. And they go, have you had any um, drugs today? I go, nah, I haven't had any drugs. I'm all sweet. Like, that's what I'm happy to think of. They're going, listen, we're not really caring about the drugs. We're not really caring about the alcohol. We just want the guns. We go, we know you got guns. And I go, bro, I ain't got no guns, mate. I ain't got no guns at all. So he's like, you get, if you tell us now, you won't get in as much trouble. And I'm like, tell you what? And he's like, tell us where the guns are. And I'm like, I don't, I don't have any guns, bro. I don't, I've, never, I've only ever shot a gun at, um, at Queensland at the higher places, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have any guns. Like, you know, like I'm like, I'm, he's like, just own up now. If you own up now, it's all going to be, it's a lot better for you if you own up now. If we find something in there, you're going to be in the shit. And I'm going, bro, bro, like, I'm happy for you to search. If you find a gun in there, I'm going to be more surprised than you. They're like, no, 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 we know, we know. And they kept giving me the, 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 the five, oh, the, you know, the fifth, to just giving it to me. Like, I'm, going, I'm going, no, I'm fine, bro. Like, I'm, you just give me whatever you want. Charles the Plessy, fashion fusion. How are you, buddy? Just telling me cop story yesterday. So yeah, so eventually, they get me on the side, they do me both, so they, then they say, okay, we're searching. So then they start searching me car, and let me tell you, they searched it for about half an hour, like pulled it to bits, went through everything, went through this, went through that, I'm just going, wow, I've never been through, oh, I have been through this before, once a long time ago, but I was, I was like, yeah, I've never done it. this is crazy to this extent. So I was like, oh, well, all right, no worries. You can keep searching. I knew they weren't going to find anything, so I wasn't worried in the slightest. I was like, wow, this is crazy. So they're searching, pulling things to bits, pulling that to bits. Next thing you know, I forgot I left my wallet in the, um, in the side compartment. I look in the car and the cops are going through my wallet, looking at all my notes. I wonder if I got my wallet on me. So in my wallet, I got like, you know, you keep a little stash of receipts. He's going through all me receipts. And I'm going, <laughs> holy moly. <laughs> Richard, how are you, Richard? So I'm like, holy hell, this is getting like full into it. So he's going through his receipts, reading any note or had in there. Because I think they got, they got this thing with, um, if they find, if the cops find a note with names and like money next to it, they can say you're a drug dealer and that's your um, ticker list or whatever. I think that's what he was looking for. Oh, I don't know, but he was going through all my papers and I was looking in the guy. <laughs> Holy moly, like these guys are going hard at me today. Like they really think I've got something. 
So I was like, so when I seen him going through it, I went over and said, hey bro, bro, you're going through me wallet. I just want to let you know there's a Valium stuck in there. <laughs> He's like, what? I go, I stuck a Valium down the back of my wallet, so if I ever have a panic attack or freaking out on the road, I got a Valium on me. I go, so if you do find the pill in there, it's a Valium. And he's like, oh, are you sure it's yours? And I go, yeah, bro. And then he starts searching him, and I only pulled the Valium out. It's still in the packet. You can see it's a Valium. So then he was like, should have gave him the old, <laughs> the old, the old um, reception slap. <laughs> Give him the old reception backhand. So then he's gone through everything, and he's gone, and they've gone, um, and young guy talking, the old guy searching. So then the young guy's going to me, listen, we're going to have to drug test you, and I'm pretty sure you're going to fail. And I'm like, bro, like, if you want to take me, want me to take the drug test, I'll take the drug test, that's fine, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm happy to do anything you want to do. I'm not um, resisting or... Um, arguing in any matter whatsoever I'm, I'm doing whatever you want me to do I'm happy, happy to do they're like okay we're gonna uh, we'll, we'll drug test you so we'll drug test you when old mate's done so I'm like okay no worries so then um, old mate gets out of the car rah rah come on no 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 then before they do that he goes okay we go, I'm gonna go while well, old mate's searching the car I'm gonna go check your license and make sure you got no warrants make sure that uh, we're not after you already so I'm like, okay, no worries. So he goes back and comes back and goes, bro, you haven't been in much trouble, have you? And I go, no, not much at all, bro, because I do not have a criminal record at all. Like, no criminal record. The only record that I'd have for me was I think I got done driving with one P plate instead of two. So instead of putting P plates on the front and the back, one of the back ones fell off, and I think they fined me for that. So I think um, that's the only record I've got from the cops. I've been a pretty good boy, so they've come, he's come back and gone, you've like full clean. I go, yeah, bro, I know, I've got, I've got nothing to hide here, you know what I mean? Like, he's more than welcome to do everything you want. Yeah, I'm happy with it. And they're like, okay, no worries. So then the old guy comes out and goes, bro, bro, I think you were baked off your head because my eyes were red as head. And honestly, I was just crying. So my eyes just were red from crying goes I think you were baked I think you were off your head and I go listen bro I'm happy to take the test he goes if we make you take the test we're gonna have to make you come back to the station for more tests do this do that he goes of course you've been so compliant of course you've been such um, a willing competitor just to you know, comply to whatever we wanted to do we'll just let you go without the test so they let they didn't test me and off I went <laughs> But this was like a, like an hour-long event, and then I, they didn't even drug test me. I was like, what is going on? So that was my eventful story yesterday. Getting pulled over by the cops, searched for an hour, and then they say, no, you can go without even drug testing me. I'm like, oh my goodness. What time is it there for me? It's 9.16am, quarter past nine in the a.m. How was the sushi? That's the good thing, because he goes, so I go, well, what do you want me to do? You want me to leave the car here? What do you want me to do? He goes, nah, bro, go get your sushi, go home and have a good feed. And I went, oh, God, you cops are nice. You finally, you... that's just pure harassment. Yeah, I thought it was a bit harassing, but I thought, I'm not going to comp- I'm going to just be nice. Like, you know what I mean? I got nothing to hide, and I needed a bit of um, distraction in my day anyway, so I took advantage of it. <laughs> But yeah, it was like harassing and I'm on the side of the street, everybody's watching me. If I didn't like, if I had any, um, fucking idiots, I know, they get lay off their heads or what. <laughs> right, to uh, uh, tell the same story and laugh to their asses. <laughs> they probably are just laughing at me like a bloody idiot. So yeah, so that was my story yesterday, getting full swatted by the cops. And I'm on the side of the road, I'm doing these ones, they're like, lift your shirt up, make sure they made me do like this one, making sure I had no guns in me pants, like I had no guns tucked around here, they were like fully going gun crazy. And in Australia, there's not many guns, so I'm like, freaks me out a bit, because I'm like, well fucking how many guns are around me house at the moment, if they're pulling random people over. If they did their job, they would know you were no threat. That's exactly right. You know, like, it's not as if, if I look like a um, gun-toting criminal, do I? You know what I mean? 
So anyway, so that was my crazy story getting searched for guns and that's what made me think maybe I got swatted or something. Maybe someone gave them my um, license or something because it was weird. Like as soon as they spot, it was the stash. I thought it was the stash too. Do you know, I seriously thought it was the stash after I thought I'd definitely seen the stash and just pulled me over because of the stash. But I thought it was so weird that as soon as they spotted me, like I was parked here, as soon as they spotted they just go whoop, straight around onto me, you know what I mean? The stash has a record. <laughs> oh, funny, oh, that's what it was. I think it was too. I think they've seen the stash, they've seen me suspiciously on the phone and went, stash, we've got to pull him over, we've got to search the stash. We've got no choice. We've got no option here. They've rang up the partners. We've got a stash. We've got a stash, people. Get just warning you. Oh God! So that's um. Fucking uh, yeah. So that was crazy, crazy. Um, getting searched by the cops yesterday. Insane. We all need to find the stash's stash. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the cops are saying, you reckon? <laughs> We're looking for that stash's stash. It's getting pretty thick, isn't it? It's getting pretty thick. It's a dirty big huntsman, dead huntsman on the fence too. I keep looking at it going. I'll show you this in a second. I'll show you this now, actually. Why not show you this? So yeah, that was my crazy um, cop story. Now's that for a dirty spider. Something's eating it because it ain't got no back, but look how big it is. That's fucking not small. I don't want to go near it. Look at that. Good size spider or what? Touch it, bro. No way! No way in the world it's dead and I still don't touch it. Yeah, you know, it's that dead, it's got no ass. I'm still, I'm still semi-positive that it could attack me. It's like just in the slightest, I got that slight little opinion. <sighs> All right, here we go. I don't know if I want to do this. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't do it, can't do it. I tried Sinister, I gave it my best shot. I couldn't do it, couldn't do it. Tried, I tried, I gave it the best. The stash stared at the dead. Could have done, could have done. It's got some power, this stash. I think I'm learning. I think it's gonna take me a while to learn the power of the stash. It's getting me, and I think it got me yesterday. I think it got me big time yesterday. <laughs> I couldn't get over it. The cop, the cop must have been, um, the cop must have been like spinning out because I was so compliant. And then he goes, when you lift up your shirt, can you lift up your shirt for us? I go, bro, if you want to go around the back, I'll get naked for you. <laughs> they, went, <laughs> they went, what? What? I went, bro, I'm happy to do whatever you want. Opposite the gym. Take me out there. Let's go around the back of the shops because we're, we're on the main drag. So I go, let's go behind this shop. Let's take me behind this shop and I'll strip off for you. So I'll show you everything. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 that's fine, buddy. That's fine. You get on your way and go get your sushi. Um, that had me in stitches a couple of... I'm not touching that spider. I tried. I tried. All right, let's have one more shot. Let's get the involve out one more time. So that's me story, the crazy swatted story. Oh, funny, funny, funny. Did you bring the arrow loop? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I would have needed it. I think I would have needed it if they took me out the back. Oh, funny. All right, let's go. Have another shot.
When she goes off, nice man. This bow goes off so nice when it goes off. Now Petunia's getting attitude. <laughs> Straighten the peanut. Straighten the peanut. Um, I missed it. Can you tell it again? Oh, you're in character. You're in character. I think that was a story for the day. Alrighty guys, let's go check these arrows. And then what's the time limit? Half an hour, we got the half an hour Jimmy show done. Oh, we got one peanut. We've got one peanut of all peanuts. That is a good cheap target bow. For the speed, look at this. Look at that for a peanut. If that's not a peanut, I don't know what a peanut is. And then how's these dodgy ones? See, when it goes off nice, it goes off so nice. But when it goes off bad, man, they're real bad. So that's the Evolve for you. Super speed, but super unforgiving. All right, guys, so that's going to be the second day. Two days in a row of the Jimmy Mo Show. The Jimmy Mo Show. Um, thumbs up for the stash. Everyone hit the like button. There should be 36. See, there's 36 views on here. All right, guys, hit the like button for me. That's going to be me for today. I'll see you tomorrow for another half an hour. Let me know after the video if you're watching this later in the comments below if you like this format. You like the half an hour, you like the quick full throttle is what I like. I wouldn't mind trying to full throttle this as fast because a full throttle is way faster than this. So I'm like, couldn't imagine how fast full throttle is. It's like the live is. All right, guys. See you tomorrow for the next one. <laughs> hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons. See you soon for the next one. Love you.